1976, half dollar coin value. 1976 was a momentous year. It marked 200 years since American independence. To celebrate the occasion, new versions of three denominations were produced. One of those was the half dollar, commonly referred to as the Kennedy half dollar. We're going to explore the 1976 half dollar value. We'll look at the difference between a coin that's worth a few dollars and one that's worth thousands. And we'll investigate some of the era coins that are worth big money. The half dollar struck in 1976 marked 200 years since the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Three commemorative coins were proposed to mark the occasion, a quarter, a half dollar, and a dollar. The proposals came from a special committee that had been set up a decade earlier to prepare for the bicentenary, but the Treasury were at first reluctant to go along with the idea. Previous issues of commemorative coins had not always been successful, and the nadir had been reached with commemorative coins featuring George Washington Carver and Booker T. Washington. Distribution problems led to the coins being repeatedly discounted before many finally passed into circulation, and the resulting bad publicity meant the Treasury was wary of a repeat performance. But there was strong political support for the commemorative coins, and in 1972, the Treasury dropped its opposition. A competition was run to find a design for the new coins. Anyone could submit a design, and over 15,000 inquiries were made before the competition deadline. In the end, over 800 designs were submitted, and a judging panel was established to draw up a shortlist. The obverse of the bicentennial half dollar remained largely the same as the coins from the previous year. They still bore the image of John F. Kennedy produced by the Mint's chief engraver at the time of the first Kennedy half dollars, Gilroy Roberts. Above Kennedy's image, the word liberty curves around the upper two-thirds of the coin edge, and the motto, In God We Trust, appears alongside Kennedy's neck. The only difference from earlier half dollars was the date. The bicentennial edition had two dates beneath the portrait. These read 1776, 1976, with a dot separating the years. The prize-winning image for the reverse of the 1976 half dollar was the work of Seth Huntington. He was the head artist at a Minneapolis publishing firm called Brown and Bigelow. The design showed Independence Hall in Philadelphia. This historic civic building was the place where America's founding fathers had debated and adopted the Declaration of Independence. Its name was inscribed beneath the image to prevent any confusion. On the left-hand side as you view the coin are the words, 200 years of freedom. On the right is the Latin motto, E Pluribus Unum. This appears on all U.S. coins and means from the many one, a reference to the creation of the USA from the individual states. Most circulated examples are worth only their face value, and values for even mint state coins, those that have never been circulated, are relatively modest at most grades. The independent coin graders, the PCGS, value a coin graded MS60 at just $3. Values climb to $12 at MS63 and $22 at MS64. A gem quality MS65 example will be worth around $1.55, while one at MS66 breaches three figures at $1.175. Prices jump again at MS67, with a coin at that level worth around $1,750. 19 coins have been certified at that grade by the PCGS, with only one graded higher. That one is graded MS67+, and is currently valued at $3,150.